welcome back to Ben's Reviews. Glorious day out here today, it's 20 plus degrees. Um, I've been asked to re put something on the video. I don't know whether they meant to put it on this channel or feature it on one of my other channels. I haven't got a lot of subscribers on this channel, but um, you never know, this, this video might get a little bit of traffic. So I've got an email from a company called Filippo Loretti. Uh, are you interested in showcasing one of our watches? I thought, here we go, another scam. And uh, I went through, answered the email, backwards and forwards. Uh, then it started getting involved. There was a contract and, and all this. And I thought, oh, okay, but, and they still wasn't asking for any money. I thought, well, we'll give them the benefit of the doubt. And um, so I agreed to it, signed the contract. Uh, it wasn't anything desperate. I'm not signing my life away. It's just that when I do show this watch, I don't show any other watches at the same time. Um, so anyway, left it at that. Uh, in the meantime, I did a bit of research. There's a lot of hate for Filippo Loretti. Now, whether it's because it was a Kickstarter, it got out of hand to start with, you know, they got millions and millions in, in pledges and when it came time to it, they couldn't deliver on time. So people was left without a watch. That and the fact that a lot of these watch review channels are obviously watch aficionados and um, they're saying that they're cheap um, watches made with inferior parts. They're made in China. I mean, at the end of the day, an iPhone's made in China and they're made with cheap inferior parts, but the actual end product is you know, quite, quite a good thing, really. I haven't got one. I've got the iPad and I've got a, a crappy old Android phone. But, um, yeah, so we're going to unbox this and see what we actually think of it. And, uh, yeah, so we'll do that. Let's have a look at this. So here it is. Comes in a nice little box. We'll open that up. You are awesome. I know, thank you for letting me know. We just wanted to thank you for your patience and support. We hope this wait will be worth it. Enjoy your new watch. Yours sincerely, the Filippo Loretti team. There's that. So we've got another box, a box inside a box. So we'll put that there. Just pop that out of the way. FilippoLoretti.com. It's well packaged. And another box, Filippo Rilletti. Now this is the Ascari, Ascari Grand Prix. I mean, it's nicely packaged. So a lot of effort has gone into this. And there we go, look at that. First impressions, it's quite good. So we've also got a couple of spare links, a cleaning cloth. And some instructions. That's actually quite nice. It's a bit of weight to it. Now I have already taken this out of the box and I know for a fact it won't fit on my wrist. <laughs> I've got some links, but I haven't got a screwdriver small enough to take the links out. So I've ordered a watchmaker's toolkit. So I'll be able to put that in. And this is a chronograph watch. So the second hand doesn't go around all the time until you press the button. And then that button resets it back to 12 o'clock. It's got the date on the bottom, so it's the 1st of April. I've already set the date and time, um, and it's still keeping good time. Nice bracelet on it. A lot of people saying that the bracelet was quite cheap, but the actual watch felt quite good quality. The watch does feel really sort of heavy. Um, it's got nice engraving on the back. You can see that. But yeah. I can't even get it over my hand very well. So I won't bother. Um, I'll, I'll do that when I get the links. 
But yeah, so far, I'm pretty impressed with that. It's got Seiko movement in it. Um, it's a sapphire coated mineral glass, so it's not a sapphire um, thing. It, you will be able to scratch it if you're not careful. But so far, that looks pretty good. Um, Filippo Loretti engraved on the, the bracelet, the clasp. Close that up. Filippo Loretti on there. Overall, I'm pretty chuffed with that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now, I've not seen many reviews for the Ascari Grand Prix 1951. But um, this, I mean, uh, you know, I'm not a watch aficionado. I don't claim to know a lot about watches, but I know a, a decent watch if it feels good and it tells the time. That's all I want it to do. Uh, I know there's a lot of people out there, especially the Filippo Loretti adverts, oh, people are stopping me in the street to look at my watch. I mean, that's bullshit, but... Um, <laughs> But I'll be quite happy to wear this when I, when I can fit it on my fat wrists. Um, yeah, that's quite tasty actually. I, I quite like that. Um, and it'll go quite nice when I'm driving around in the Range Rover. <laughs> I like the uh, the blue. I, f I think that the uh, the hands and the and the numbers or the number markers are they glow in the dark. The bezel doesn't turn, it's a tachy tachymeter. Um, I did read up about it, but I can't really remember all about it now. So um, yeah, and when you set the chronograph part going, the second hand starts going. Um, and you've got two dials here. You've got one here, which is your minutes. I can't remember what that one does. I've not read the instructions. So this isn't a very thorough review, is it? But um, it's an unboxing and it's my opinions on this watch. Now, you know, as I say, I'm not a watch specialist, but to me, that is good quality for the price. So it's made, it's put together in China. It's got a Japanese movement. Um, and I know that a lot of people get upset because they're, they're saying it's Italian heritage and this, that and the other but the company founders come from Lithuania. Does it really matter? It's a, at the end of the day, it's a good quality watch. It tells the time. And um, I think I probably would be happy to pay the price that this is. They're, they, they've got so many sales going on at the moment. And um, yeah, more than happy with this. I like the gold. I like the brushed stainless. Like the gold embellishments around there. The crown wheels and the pushers are, are gold. This has got a little flag uh, in, embossed on it. And yeah, that's just brilliant. I'm well chuffed with that. So that's it, it's unboxed. Um, and as I say, I'm thrilled to bits with it, to be honest. Uh, it, it's good quality. It might not be one of the best out there, but uh, for the price, um, if somebody can get one of these this cheap, because there's a lot of people on YouTube saying, oh, it's just rebranded stuff that you get on AliExpress. If someone can get one of these on AliExpress for 15 to 20 quid, let me know. And um, <laughs> I'll see if I can buy one and we'll, we'll compare the two. I can't see it myself. Uh, I have bought cheap watches in the past. This doesn't feel cheap. Um, and I'm thoroughly chuffed with it. So that's all I can say about it, really. Philippe Loretti, they came through. They said they were sending one. One's turned up, uh, so it doesn't fit. But I've got the links to uh, make it a little bit larger. And um, happy days. So I hope you like this video. Please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, we'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.